Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So, you know, I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but Angle Live became a little busy and doing some other things, man. But um, yesterday it was announced that uh, Virgil Ortiz has have Virgil Ortiz Jr. has another opponent, man, and Sir He You know what I'm saying? He's going to be fighting him on August 10th, which is, um, you know, it's crazy, right? You know, a lot of people saying, is this another bum? You know, is this another bum? Stop it. Get some help. This is another clown, another bozo, another easy fight for Virgil Ortiz. So let's look into um, his opponent, Serhii Boachuk, man. Serhii Boachuk. So he's a Ukrainian fighter. He's currently the WBC interim champion. You know what I'm saying? So by default, he's he's not he's not a bum. You know what I'm talking about? Not, at least not in my opinion. And he's uh, he's 24 and one right now. And uh, 20 23 of those wins came by way of knockout. You know, and um, in fact, his only his his last fight was his only fight that didn't come by way of knockout, and it was against the tough man Brian Mendoza. You know, and Brian Mendoza, he's, he's He's a good he's a good competitor man um like i said he, that was his only win that not a ko and there's no shame in that because brian mendoza has never been stopped before right he's never been stopped and and, and brian mendoza is a former adversary of uh, of the great champion uh, tim zoo you know um <clears throat> so so brian mendoza he does have four losses but like i said he's a good fighter a good str good strong fighter who's never been stopped before and um in, in addition to that you know brian mendoza before that he actually beat the current champion in Sebastian Fandora by by seventh round stoppage, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was a seventh round. Yeah, yeah, seventh round, seventh round KO. So you know, um, but Boa Chuck, he put that work to him. He put that work to a man, and he actually left him with a major swelling on the side of his face. Unanimous decision, and now the interim WBC super welterweight champion, Sergey El Flaco. Damn. I'm sorry. You know, major swelling at the side of his face. Even though he didn't stop him, he, he definitely beat him up, you know, and, and won on all, all all three judges' scorecards, you know, by unanimous decision. So it's not that bad, you know. And and so I think that's 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 where he shines. You know, he's a tough fighter, a good fighter, tall fighter too. I think he's six foot. So um yeah, he's six feet tall. So yeah, man, he's a very good fighter. He knows how to use his range as well and he's and he's strong, you know, obviously he has twenty three knockouts out of his twenty four wins. So that's the good stuff. The not so good <laughs> The not so good portion of um is that um you know his one loss came by way of stoppage you know I remember he lost to um I believe his name was Brandon Adams Brandon Adams if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken so um that was his only loss and but the good thing about that even that's not that that bad because because um he was actually winning at the time of the stoppage you know but he got caught with a mean left hook and let's talk about this Bochuk had to oh. he's going for it here he comes he's going for it. Um, you know, he just wasn't being disciplined. You know, had his hands down a little bit, and he got caught. You know, Brandon Andrews being a strong fighter, and he caught him, and he and he finished him in the eighth round. So eighth round stoppage, and you know, it's not too bad. It's only one loss. I believe that if they fought again, I would lean towards Boicha. You know, but you know, sometimes you just move on. You know, he's the interim champion right now, so I don't think that he's a uh, he's he's definitely not a bad opponent for Virgil Ortiz. He not only is he not a bad opponent, he's also definitely definitively the biggest. At, the, the, sorry, the, the best opponent that uh, Virgil Ortiz has fought, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be a good fight. Do I think it's as good as as Tim Zhu, you know, who's, who was Virgil Ortiz's original opponent? No, I don't think it's as good as Tim Zhu, but it should still be a good fight, entertaining fight, and especially being on short notice, you know what I'm saying? I can't complain about that. Now, it, it being on August 10th, you know, I, I, I don't really understand why it wasn't on August 3rd, because remember, it was supposed to, and it, originally, he was supposed to be on the fight card with uh, Terrence Crawford um, and Israel Madrimov in L.A. on August 3rd, but this one's August 10th, which is a week later, but maybe Boachuk, it was just an inconvenient date for Boachuk, I don't know, you know, and, and they will be fighting in Las Vegas, according to reports, so we're going to see how that goes, man, and, um, you know, I, I think it's a great fight, I don't think that people should look down on it, but hey, you know, everybody got their own opinion, I look forward to it, the Ukrainian fighter Boachuk, you know, that's a little bit about him, I think it's going to be a great fight if i had to make a prediction it's hard to go against virgil ortiz um because he looks spectacular but you know he still doesn't have a notable win he doesn't have a he doesn't have a, a great win over a notable opponent you know so but i think this would be a, definitely be a good step in the right direction man so y'all let me know what y'all think about sir he boy check after you look him up a little bit and um yeah i think it's gonna be a good fight though man so don't don't let them fool you he's definitely not a bum appreciate y'all rocking as always man remember with god we can do anything without god we are nothing y'all be easy the doctor's out it's early in the morning, man. Real early in the morning. It's a nice day out here, though. I try to enjoy it.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.